Hey guys, it's Denali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here actually with a laundry video, which I've never really done before. And if you've been watching any of my hauls recently, you'll see that I won't shut up about a new product that I started using. This is the stuff. Oh, this is the stuff. It's called Pearwall. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. This is not a sponsored video by them. I just wanted to show you guys how awesome it is and how well it works at getting your dark and black colored fabrics back to their original black color instead of this weird fading that tends to happen over time. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. If you wanna skip ahead in the video, I will put chapters down below so you can find your favorite part. First things first, before we get started, I just wanna go over the bottle with you. This is what it looks like. Pretty much all of it is in German. So it does say renew and repair and does show that it's kind of changing the color of the garment there and then whatever all that means. <laughs> if you speak German, this bottle is definitely for you. Essentially, you can just throw it in where you would put a laundry softener just in place of that. And just to show you guys what it looks like, it is a cream, creamy color. So I've had people ask me, will it dye your clothing a darker color or is it gonna mess up other loads? No, it will not because of the shade that it is. If this had a black dye, yes, that would be a concern. However, I have washed items that are white or red or pink or whatever after a load of doing this and it's never been a problem. Now your experience might be different, but that's been my experience thus far. This bottle isn't really that inexpensive. I think I've paid about $25 for it on Amazon, but I will put a link in the description down below so you can go check it out. I don't know where else you can purchase this, so I don't know if it is a specialty item. That's unfortunate if it is. It's great for using on black fabrics and also I've used it on dark blues. I think you can also do that. From what I read just on the Amazon reviews, that's kind of the feedback that I got. Another question that you might have will be, can I use it on a fabric that's black but then has other stuff on it. So for instance, this one has blue or pink, or maybe you have a vintage black t-shirt and it's from a concert and it's got this cool concert picture on there, all the tour information. Is it going to mess up the rest of the garment? And the answer to that is no, it will not. So you can use the product with this. And again, it's gonna take your faded items or the items that just don't have that rich dark color and it's gonna turn them back into that original fabric color, which is kind of nice. I am now sitting on the floor with a pile of sorted clothes. These are all darker items that I'm going to be washing with the pear wall today. So for instance, I just wanted to show you that I, in my experience, don't have a rhyme or reason for which items or types of fabrics I'm gonna to toss this in with. I don't know what this is. I think it's like Athleta or no, it's Lululemon. So we've got a Lululemon piece here. And you can see that there is some slight discoloration from age. So I'm gonna to toss it in. Again, not sure what sort of fabric that is. We've got some denim jeans, you know, fading through time. A Lululemon bra, I think. This is an I Am Gia romper. So again, I'm putting nicer garments in there. This one, definitely I'll be curious to see how it comes out because you can see that right here, there is some fading. Denim is, I feel like denim and the cotton t-shirts, those are really gonna show the most evidence. But I do have some activewear pieces here as well. This one's like actually not too bad, so I don't know if we'll see as big of a difference. A t-shirt, black t-shirt that is not too bad. And I've got some snow pants, some more snow pants, a dress pant, oh no, these aren't a dress pant. <laughs> a yoga pant, ooh, pilly. And last but not least, I'm actually gonna throw in one of my own personal items just to show you how well I think this item works, or how well I think this product works. Okay, so this is my Cats t-shirt from, 1992, I think, when I went and saw Cats in New York, and it is faded because of age, but let's just try and capture as much of the coloring as possible. So you can kind of see it up next to me, and I'm going to wash it with the pear wall, and let's see the results. Okay, guys, we are here in my really messy laundry room. This is what it looks like. This is where the magic happens. I've got my pile of clothes here on the floor. As you can see, I'm just gonna take them and toss them right in more of that stuff. We've got a straggler. We'll throw that in there. And then I have a front loading uh, washer. So close that right up. I'm gonna grab some laundry detergent as I usually would because this isn't a detergent. I've got my product here. And in terms of measurement, they do give some instructions about milliliters, 
but I just eyeball it. Again, I'm not telling you exactly how you should use it. And if you want to translate the German, you definitely should. But I, just from what I gathered on Amazon, I just kind of eyeball it. So this is my softener tray. I'm just going to pour a little in here. Not much, to be honest. If I had to guess, how much did I actually just put in there? Maybe two to three tablespoons. I think that's all. We put that in there, close that up, and I'm just going to run a regular cycle. I don't change the water. I don't do anything. I just do it how I normally would. And close back up. And we're done so this bottle has been lasting me quite a while just because i don't use it that often i'm only using it with items that have darker colors although the price is higher it doesn't get used as often it kind of justifies it so let's check back in once the items are done with the wash okay guys so the washer just finished and i'm going to show you what it looked like as best as i can here is like some of the snow pants i don't know what that was there was something white on there it looks like maybe <laughs> piece of paper or something got washed here's something that remember this floral print so it's kind of hard to tell when the items are not dry because they all look pretty dark wow that is definitely showing up in here but again so yeah there's just sorry guys there's like towel or <laughs> paper on there <laughs> but i'm curious where's my t-shirt i want to see my t-shirt oh wait <laughs> i can already tell you can't because the lighting in here is kind of bad, but there we go. Let me adjust the lighting on my phone. Look at this. Already I can tell this is darker. That's really exciting. You can see the color. See how vibrant it is compared to the fabric. So this is really exciting. I am going to get the rest of the stuff out of here, put it in the dryer. Yeah, this was like faded. That's exciting. Well, yeah, we need to carefully detach you from that. But anyways, I'm going to toss this stuff in the dryer and then I will show you everything once it's completely done. Hey guys, I am actually at my warehouse now. So, you know, scenery change here, but I want to show you under better lighting, uh, what it looked like after I finished washing and drying all of the clothing. So, you know, I gave you that before perspective. So here's the after. Okay. So here's that swimsuit top. And again, right. Did not affect the color because this had lots of different colors on it. Um, I can't remember how black it was, but I mean, this is pretty rich, right? Like this looks like the day it was born. So that's exciting. Here is that romper that I am Gia romper. So again, we had this almost like reflective, it's definitely reflective piping on here. Did not affect the color. Looks great. Definitely came out darker in my opinion. But again, you can go back and reference, you know, the, the real tell will be my vintage t-shirt. So I'm going to save the best for last. There was two pairs of Nike shorts. Um, the color on these, again, the day they were born, this is a nice dark rich black color very happy about that i know i'm like can you see can you tell how black these are um here was the rei jacket so again i washed a lot of different materials i'm showing you different uh fabrics so these are you know it's like active wear same with those shorts does not affect you know like the liquid is not affected by that again active wear these are the Marmot snow pants. They look great. Uh, these are a pair of Sunday Best little jogger pants. And again, the color is superb. Like these look, to me, these look new now, which is awesome. Happy about that. Uh, this is, oh, this is that Lululemon jacket, moto jacket. And I would say this is not as dark as some of the other ones. And I don't know if it's again, because the material, this is definitely like an active wear material. And I don't know, unfortunately, because it's Lululemon and the tag is cut off. Um, it's still darker in general. Like I'm really happy with the color, but it's not uh, as rich of a black color as that one. Again, something that had multiple colors in it that we washed. This looks great. So the irony is I later realized that this one was new with tags. That's why there was all that paper. I was like, why is there paper in here? I noticed it was because of the tag, but it looks great. I mean, totally happy with it, you know, but it, it didn't really have much fading to begin with. So just complete uh, transparency there. Uh, here's a t-shirt. So again, showing you a t-shirt with color on it. Um, this came out really nice dark color. I'm really happy with it. The yellow definitely pops. And then some denim, 
Uh, I'm really, again, happy with this denim. It looks awesome. No fading at all. They look awesome. There's that. Here's that Lululemon bra with the exception of pilling, which a laundry add-in couldn't fix. <laughs> yeah, it, again, you know, areas where I would expect for there to be discoloring would be maybe underneath the armpit, possibly from deodorant markings, but it looks great. And again, those Nike shorts look awesome, but let me show you my shirt. Last but not least, so this is so special to me. I would never risk ruining this shirt, but here's my cat's t-shirt and this is absolutely a darker color. You can see here on the back. Now it's not as a uh, rich black color as perhaps the denim or the other black t-shirt, but this definitely darkened it up quite a bit. So I'm happy with this. It looks awesome. So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know and kind of, you know, I keep talking about this product. So I was like, might as well show you a little bit of it in action. Again, not sponsored content. This is just me making a video because I really like the product. It's great. If you want to uh, support me and use one of my Amazon affiliate links to purchase it, that's awesome. I don't know where else they sell it. So if you know anywhere else that people can buy it, please chime in. I just finished a haul video, so it's a little messy in here. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.